The James Webb Space Telescope is changing our understanding of the cosmos. Now, according to a study of observations of hundreds of galaxies by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, galaxies in the early days of the universe were much more varied and mature than we previously thought. The Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, aka Sears, has been using the JWST to look far back in time. They've been studying galaxies since they were around 11 to 13 billion years years ago. And recently, we got a few new images from the James Webb Space Telescope. These new images reveal the presence of mature features such as disks or spheroidal components. Amazing as it may be, the James Webb Telescope is a thing of beauty. Truly, NASA has built the finest observatory in the cosmos. An associate professor in the Rochester Institute of Technology's School of Physics and Astronomy said, that means even at high redshifts, galaxies were already quite evolved and had an extensive range of infrastructures. This also means that these galaxies are a lot like the galaxies of the present. This also tells us that we don't yet know when the earliest galaxy structures formed. So we're going to have to examine a lot more galaxies at even higher redshifts to really assess at what point in time we can expect to see features like disk. Form. Now, did you know that these newfound galaxies are young but mature? The Sears Group has used this new data and found 850 early galaxies. They measure the distance to each one. They then tag its shape. It will either be spheroid, disk, or irregular, or maybe a bit of all three. Since these classifications aren't mutually exclusive and galaxies are extremely complex, they don't necessarily fall into one category. Some galaxies are like the Milky Way. They have both a central bulge and a disk. Now, since disks are thought to form only in serene environments, a place where stars can settle into the spinning skirt instead of being thrown about. Their frequency in a universe only a few percent of its current age is like seeing a teenager when you're expecting to see a toddler. It's quite surprising to see so many disk galaxies out there, even if we're not seeing the earliest stages of galaxy formation yet. Its 18 giant mirrors are made of beryllium, but coated in gold. The coating of gold is only around 600 atoms thick, and the total volume of gold would be the size of a golf ball and weigh 48 grams. It's also worth noting that yesterday's disks aren't the same as modern ones. They're turbulent and messy. So again, we'll need to study them more and more. Did you know that a researcher at the University of Missouri found 87 early galaxies? Associate Professor Jan reported on galaxies even earlier in cosmic history. He found 87 distant galaxies behind the galaxy cluster SMACS 0723. Their light was magnified and distorted by the cluster's gravity. It appears that these galaxies date around 200 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. They are still waiting for spectroscopic confirmation. So for now, their redshifts are only estimates. But so far, spectroscopic confirmations of other galaxies have confirmed the vast majority of preliminary distances. And even if only half of Jan's selection are nearby galaxies that are pretending to be distant ones, the latter number will still be extremely large. Jan said that we're going to need to change the way we picture galaxy formations in the early universe. But Jordan Mirocha, a theorist who's tackling this problem, said that there's either an extreme amount of galaxies or they're much, much brighter than what their models predict. We sent it to a place called Lagrange Point 2, uh, about a million miles farther out from the sun than we are. He argues that several factors are at work in throwing off predictions. So, did you know that the first galaxies formed in still growing dark matter halos? And ordinary hydrogen gas followed the gravitational pull of the amassing dark matter particles. Now, Jordan suggests that this might have hindered the stellar feedback that slows star formation in present day galaxies. The furious formation of new stars would make earlier galaxies appear brighter. It would also generate a large amount of dust. This, in turn, dims the galaxy. They will need to balance all of these different factors if they wish to understand how the first galaxies were formed. And Jordan believes that they have a lot more to think about. So yes, the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed a lot of early galaxies, but it's also made a few wonderful discoveries, especially in 2022, like the stars that were born in the Pillars of Creation. Now, the Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula is one of Hubble's most iconic images. It captured the structure's extremely beautiful clouds. 
out, but the creation inside of them was still hidden until now. Webb's infrared imaging has managed to capture it in the form of multiple protostars. They appear as tiny red dots against the smoky backdrop of the pillars. Yes, these are stars being born. Did you know that these collections of dust and gas are many times bigger than our solar system? But these young stars aren't burning nitrogen just yet. Gradually, as more and more material falls in, the middle will become denser and denser. At one point, it will be so dense that the hydrogen burning will start, and then suddenly, the stars will start burning at a temperature of around 2 million degrees Celsius. This wasn't the only discovery that Webb revealed. It also gave us an image of two galaxies colliding. One of Webb's biggest strengths as an infrared telescope is its ability to peer through dust, something that other telescopes like Hubble can't do. This reveals so many different things to us. When Webb captured the image of the two galaxies that were colliding, it showed us something that Hubble had missed, an area of intense star formation. Capturing direct images of exoplanets is extremely challenging, mainly because the stars that they're right next to are so much brighter. This means only James Webb's near-infrared capabilities can cut through this light to reveal the faint planets in such detail. Scientists believe this area is producing stars 20 times faster than our own galaxy. The new image of the merging galaxies, also known as IC1623, contains an area of star formation that shines so bright with infrared radiation, it produces Webb's typical pointed star diffraction pattern. This usually happens when it views an extremely bright star. The area makes up a completely new layer of the image, a layer that was previously previously hidden from Hubble behind a thick layer of dust. Scientists believe the two galaxies are merging. Don't worry, they're about 270 million light years away and are maybe creating a supermassive black hole. Luckily, on a more positive note, we finally uncovered a secret to the Southern Ring Nebula. Scientists have always said that the Southern Ring Nebula is unremarkable. They thought that the nebula was basically a dying star. It's also known as a white dwarf that expelled its outer layers. They glow brightly as the white dwarf radiates waves of energy. They also knew about another star that wasn't dying, one that is part of this binary system, but it is mostly obscured by the brightly lit gas. Luckily, Webb's latest image researchers saw that the white dwarf wasn't actually invisible, but it was actually glowing red, surrounded by a haze of cool gas. But where does the gas come from? The only logical explanation is that it seems as if the nebula is hiding another star. This star is the source of the gas. The telescope's main camera also captured very fascinating shells around the edges of the nebula. They're almost like the ones around WR140. They also believe the star that sits between the two known ones could also cause the ripple-like shells. Man, isn't space just amazing? But the James Webb Space Telescope is even more amazing. It was made to observe the most distant galaxies in the universe. And so it did. The telescope observed the four most distant galaxies known. This also means that it observed the oldest galaxies. It observed galaxies as they were 13.4 billion years ago. These galaxies existed when the universe was only 350 million years old, approximately 2% of its current age. These four galaxies are ancient. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.